Hello guys, welcome to our maths lesson. Now before we start, um, for this lesson you will need some squared paper. So if you don't already have some to hand, um, there is attached to our teams, there is some squared paper that you are able to print. There is also ways if you've got a tablet or an iPad, you can go into the notes section and press the three little dots and you can get some squared paper that way. But rest assured that you need some squared paper for this because otherwise it makes it a little bit tricky. Anyway, moving on. So our LA today is to make some shapes using squares. So we're keeping on our topic of area and our measurements. And we're going to look at some different ways of making some shapes. So let's get ready. So we have got three questions here. Uh, these are our starter questions. Uh, pause the video and give these a go and see if you can get them right. Okay, pause. Okay, so first... Our first question, so we've got 5 plus 5 plus 5, this is 20. And we've got 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is again four lots, uh, 5 lots of 4, it is 20. So all the answers here are 20. Because 5 times 4, that is the exact same as 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. That's 5 times 5, it is the same. So it's all answers to 20. What is the area of this shape? Again, I could just count. So I could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. 20, or another way I might do it, I could count across, I've got 5 across and 4 down. So again, 5 multiplied by 4, I know is 20. And so I'm at 20 squares, 4 rows of 5, or you could even do 5 columns of 4 going down. So I know there's 4 there, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. As long as you've got 20 squares, that is perfect. And then what shapes are these? So this one is a square. And if I count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, again, I could do 3 across, 3 down, 3 times 3 is 9. I could do 3 rows of 3 or 3 um, columns of 3, either or. And again, this one is a rectangle, as the sides are not, they, these two sides are equal, but the top and the bottom sides are also equal. And I got 12 squares. Again, you could do that anyway. You could do 2 down, 6 across, multiply them together equals 12. I could just count. So now let's get on to our lesson. So what is the area of this shape? So this shape is, isn't exactly our normal shape that we look at. It's not quite a rectangle, but it is a rectilinear shape, we call it, because it's made out of squares. So you can see it's got our squared areas. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my answer would be seven squares. So now, on your squared paper, can you make another shape with the same area? Pause the video, have a think and give it a go. Okay, pause. Okay, so my shape that I have made with seven squares looks like this. It looks a very strange shape, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven squares. I might have used another shape like this, like this. The, your shape might look a little bit different to mine, but as long as you have counted the area and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares, you have made another shape with the exact same area. So now, again, on your squared paper, I would like you to draw a shape on the grid with an area of five squares. Give that a go. Pause. Okay. So this is my shape that I've made. It's a rectangle and it's got one, two, three, four, five. I might have drawn a different shape with five squares. One, two, three, four, five. Might have done a different one. One, two, three, four, five. Yours again might look different, but as long as it has got an area of five, that is perfect. So now this is Tiny over here. And Tiny is going to have a go at drawing a shape for us. And his shape looks like this. Do you think that Tiny is correct? Pause the video and have a think. Pause. So what do you think? Is Tiny correct? I 
do not think that tiny is correct because this shape is one shape so we've got four over here and then this is not connected to the shapes then we've only got ones they are two separate shapes this square needs to be attached by the sides not the corner so it couldn't be up here it needs to be attached by the side so it can go here 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 or here here it needs to be one of the sides it needs to be touching the shape for it to have an area of five squares now again tiny's gonna have a go at drawing another shape this shape looks like this do you think tiny is correct pause the video and have a think pause Okay, so again, these shapes, even though they are technically connected by the corners, this does not make this shape five, this area five squares. These shapes need to be connected by the sides. So one of the sides needs to be touching the shape. So therefore, this area would only be three. This would be a separate shape of one and a separate shape of one. Um, this would not make the area five squares it needs to be connected by the sides so again this is tiny once more do you think tiny is correct with this one pause the video and have a think pause okay so this one tiny has finally got it correct because all the, the sides of the shapes are connected so the area of this shape is five. Super job, Tiny. So now, connected to our teams, there are some questions. Pause the video and have a go at working out questions one to four on the worksheet. See you soon. Okay, so hopefully you've done questions one to four. Now we can move on and see what our next learning is. So here is a shape. And it is an area of five currently. Can you, on your piece of squared paper, can you change this shape to make it a square, that's our keyword here, a square, with an area of nine squares? Pause the video and give it a go. Pause. Okay. So I'm thinking of this word here, a square. And I know that a square must have all equal sides. So it must have, so this currently is not square because it's got three going down, but only two across. So I need to make this a square down side. So I'm gonna fill this one in to make it a, a more of a, a squared shape, but it still is only a rectangle. And I've, I've got two across on the top, but I've got three going down, haven't I? So I need to make this side one more to make this more of a square. So I can then add all my three going down. And if I count this up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is how I make a square with an area of nine squares. So once again, guys, have a go now at questions five to eight on the worksheet. Pause the video and then come back to me once you've finished. Okay, guys. So now, how many different rectilinear shapes can be made using seven squares? So remember, this word rectilinear, this is our keyword. All that means is shapes that is made using squares. That is all that it means. So how many different shapes can be made using seven squares? Well, let's have a look. So I can make just my normal rectangle. I can then put two down and have six across. So remember this shape, as long as it is touching by the sides, I can move this around. I can move it to here, to here, or to here. I can make in some different shapes. I could have this, instead of having this at the end, I could put this one in. I can move it to here or to here. Again, instead of having it there, I could move that on, my, on the third one down. I can move it to here or there. And then finally, I can move that one. But instead of having just one in, I could have two. And I could have three across. And then I could have three going down. 
So I can create, as you can see, lots and lots of different rectilinear shapes made by using just seven squares. I think that I could even create more than just that as well. So now guys, have a go at question nine. Once you finish question nine, um, that is going to be the end of the video. Well done for today. I'm excited to see all your work and I will see you in the next one.